Welcome to an NC Live Crash Course. This video is a quick introduction to using Novelist at your library. Novelist is a database of book recommendations that allows you to search in a variety of ways. To find Novelist Plus, we'll start on the NC Live homepage. If you are accessing our resources remotely, don't forget to log in with your public library. The easiest way to find Novelist is using the Browse All Databases link and then jump directly to the section. We're going to start with a brief look at the layout of the home page before looking at some of the resources and search features. At the top, you can see the tabs, but we're going to look deeper into those in a moment. Let's start instead with the search box. This works like catalog search at the library with basic search and advanced search. The search box is a good choice if you have a specific title, author, or series and you want to do a quick search for your resource. Advanced search lets you use Boolean operators to find books. Search history only works if you have logged into your account on Novelist you will also need to create an account to save any books or searches to your folder. On the left, you can see some recommended lists of books, which is a good option for library patrons who just want to browse for books without doing extensive searching. Each of these links can use the age range and a drop-down menu to narrow down the options. Novelist also has nonfiction books you can learn about, such as biographies, true crime, and history. Additionally, there are some science and how-to books available. In the center of the home page, there are book covers of new releases and popular titles under two of the search options, appeals, tags, and genre. However, before we look at search options, let's take a quick look at some reader's advisory help you can use. Under the Quick Links tab, you have several choices. If you use Novelist before February 2022, you may notice some new options here. Instead of Reader's Advisory as a choice, you can now find those under Articles. You can see the Reader's Advisory category here. On the left, you can narrow down your search using the limiters and by choosing a genre or subject. I'm going to open one of the articles to give you a look at the content. Let's look at the Graphic Novels Fact article. You can see this article gives a lot of background information about the subject. Under Details, you can see information about this article and a link for the author's other work. There is also a permalink to use if you are responding to an online chat or an email with a patron. If you want suggestions on programming or book displays, look under Subject on the left. Then you can narrow down your search for the topic. In addition to general readers' advisory articles, you can also use the Quick Link menu to look at book club resources specifically, or any of the other topics. Okay, now on to using those search options. Let's take a look at how you can use these to find books for patrons. There are three basic styles of searching for book categories. Genres, appeal tags, and themes. Genre search is well understood by most people from bookstores. For your library users, this is a good option for general browsing. Many of the links on the left column of the home page are genres and there is a direct link to genres on the center section of the home page. Appeals tags are unique to Novelist and can be used when you have some general types of books described in a reference interview. Each book listed on Novelist will have a set of appeals tags associated with it. You can use these tags in any combination to design a search for similar books. Checking out the appeals tag for books you are familiar with is a good way to learn how they are used by Novelist. Now let's look at how to create an appeal tag book search. On this search page, you can pick a category, like character, then choose from the appeal tag options for that group. I'm going to pick character and authentic for pace, 
leisurely, and for storyline, character-driven. You can see here what we have from those choices. Now let's look at themes. Themes is the broadest category and will probably be the one you will use least. The themes page is one of the explore pages and has some basics about how themes work. Usually you will need to narrow a theme down with a genre choice. An example is choosing the genre just for kids and then the theme all kinds of families. Now that you know the ways to search, let's look at an individual book page. Here you will find basic book info and the search terms of appeal tags, genre, and theme, as well as a permalink for the book. You can see the Goodreads rating and below the published reviews and other information about this book. At the bottom, you can use all those search terms to narrow down what about the book appeals to the patron and then search for books directly from this page. Another option is to look at the read-alikes on the right side of the page, which is a good option for patrons who prefer to browse novelists on their own. All right, let's look at the highlights for using novelist. Novelists can help bring you up to speed with unfamiliar genres. It provides resources to help you with book displays, book clubs, and other library activities. And it can be a great resource for patrons who want to browse books by themselves. NC Live does have additional training resources for novelists. In the description below, you can find links directly to those resources. Thank you for viewing this NC Live crash course. If you're interested in learning more about our resources and the skills that are relevant to librarianship, subscribe to the NC Live YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below.